Hey friends. So today I've got a tool tip. I just discovered a new tool. This one was completely new to me. Uh, others may have heard about it before, and if so, well, congratulations. Uh, this is called a hot knife. So I'm in a project right now. It's uh, insulating the roof of an A-frame on top of a roundwood log woodshed. And um, I needed a way to cut this R20 uh, foam insulation. It's four inches thick, you can see here. Nice thick stuff. And everything I tried uh, worked very poorly. Uh, you know, I tried a razor knife, but of course it didn't uh, sink down four inches into the foam. I tried a long uh, jigsaw blade that was supposed to be for cutting foam board and it was worthless. It would uh, wander in the cut and make a, a, a not a the cut wasn't 90 degrees to the surface of the foam so it was really difficult to get a good uh, edge on the foam. Um, just one day I was searching on Amazon or actually I think YouTube and uh, other people were suggesting this for cutting foam. I watched a couple videos of people doing it and I ordered it from Amazon because it looked like just the ticket. And sure enough, it's working really well. Um, basically, there's a temperature adjusting knob here so that you can uh, adjust it to go through the density of foam that you're cutting. And there's a nice blade here that heats up and just uh, melts a melts a cut right through your foam board. So I imagine you'd probably want to turn the temperature down a little bit if you're cutting thinner stuff, thinner than four inches, like maybe two inch, inch and a half or something, you'd turn the temperature down a bit. Um, it's got a, this one's an air cooling version, so apparently there's a fan in here that helps keep the coil or whatever creates the heat cool. But yeah, it, it, it works real well. Let's, uh, let's cut a, Let's cut some of this foam and I'll show you what I mean. So I've already marked it. I've got to cut uh, 22 and a half wide uh, sheets of this to go between my uh, roof rafters. So um, I just try and keep it as uh, plumb as I can. And uh, then I press the trigger, light comes on, it heats up. And at some point it'll start going through the, through the foam. Just like a hot knife through butter, basically, which is exactly what it is. And uh, so you can see a little bit of smoke there. Try not to breathe that. So I'm cutting two pieces that are 22 and a half inches wide here. I'll just get this other one going and try not to breathe that smoke. Hopefully the wind will carry it away. If not, I would strongly suggest a mask of some sort to filter that crap out. Like a vapor, vapor mask or something. But there's enough wind here, I think it should carry it away if I'm careful. But yeah, look at that, it just goes right through. Makes a pretty clean cut. You just gotta be careful not to force it because that uh, blade is pretty thin and it'll bend on you. But you can get replacement blades for like 15 bucks or so, so. Boom, and then, you know, here's the cut. It's not perfect. I could probably turn the uh, heat down and go slower, but I, I, want, I, get, I need to get about 22 of these cut before it starts pouring rain. So I turned the heat up a little bit and, you know, the edge is a bit jagged, but I can live with that. I'm going to fill the gap between this and the rafters with foam in a can anyway, so I'll be able to fill that just fine. But I mean, you know, it's a nice plum cut on them and very happy. So yeah, if you're looking for a way to cut foam of any, any kind, I mean, or probably pretty much any kind of plastic, uh, look into this. I don't know, this one's a VD-200 air cooling hot knife. Got it on Amazon. So yeah, Metagrid signing off.